Hello, hello, hello. I'm so excited to have you here. We have got a whole entire Cricut Design Space series designed for beginners just like you so that you can get everything that you need to know in one handy spot. So just as a quick reminder, if you watched the very first video, you would know that this whole entire series is based on my book, which is The Complete Guide to Cricut Design Space. It's a book that's chock-a-block full of tutorials on absolutely everything and anything that you can do on Cricut Design Space. And it's for PC, iOS and Android users. But enough about that, let's get stuck into today's tutorial. So today we're going to have a look at how to connect your Cricut via Bluetooth. So yesterday in day one, we found the download link for Cricut Design Space, we installed it, and we also set up our Cricut machine to Cricut Design Space to get it working. You might also have had a go at your first test cut um, if you followed along with those steps or you could have skipped over it. Now, let's quickly talk about how to connect your machine via Bluetooth, what Bluetooth is and why you would like to do that. So Bluetooth, of course, we are living in the 20th century and everything is Bluetooth these days. And Bluetooth basically means that your desktop can talk to your machine without a cord. I hate cords. They're always in the way. They make things me look messy. So if I can get rid of a cord, I am going to do so. So you don't have to set it up with Bluetooth and in actual fact, if your desktop is an older version, you might not be able to set it up via Bluetooth. If you have one of the older Cricut machines like the Cricut Explorer, the very first one, you might not have the ability to set it up via Bluetooth. So there is a little adapter that you can purchase for the Explorer, the earlier Explorer Air machines to connect it via Bluetooth. So you can keep your eye out for that, but it might just be easier to go with a cord and just to hang in there until you can either up, upgrade your desktop or your machine. So again, we're on a PC here. If you know your Mac very, very well, you can probably follow along with this video because you know where to go. But if you're still very new to a Mac, then I highly recommend you close this video and instead you find a video that's related to Mac users. So I've already signed into Cricut Design Space. Yesterday you created an ID for yourself and you chose your own password so that you can sign in. Now, here I am on the home screen. I haven't done anything smart. My maker is the machine that I have set up yesterday and you can see that here on the right hand side. And all of these projects that's coming up here is actually perfect for the Cricut makers. So they really do a good job of creating the experience that you're after. If you have a Cricut Joy, for example, your screen's going to look different to mine because Cricut Joys do a really good job with these cards and decals and smaller sorts of things. But let me switch back to the maker here. Okay, so step number one is of course to plug in your cord. So in your box, you would have received a power cord and you also would have received a cord that goes from your machine to your desktop. So the one end should be a USB port, um, USB, I don't know, what do you call it? It's like a USB connection, let me put it that way. And then the other side goes into your machine. So what I need you to do is to obviously go and plug this in so that we can actually do this properly. Now, of course, what we need to do is to find our Bluetooth settings on either your PC or your Mac. And I absolutely love the search bar down here because I can simply type in Bluetooth and it will automatically come up. See how it's already come up in the top left hand side. Now, some of the older machines don't have that very intuitive, smart search bar. So what you would need to do is to actually click on your um, Windows setting and then find where your settings for your computer, your desktop, your laptop lives. And this might be different depending on what version of Windows you have. But I trust that you can find this. So you're looking for settings or you can simply type into the bar Bluetooth settings. Now, again, this screen might look different depending on how old your machine is and what version of Windows you're using. So what we're looking for is something like devices where your Bluetooth, your printers and your mouse settings live. You can also use again the search button up here in order to search for it if you can't find it. And then of course remember that not all desktops do have Bluetooth um, ability so if you can't find it 
maybe hop onto Google and have a bit of a search and see if your desktop actually has got Bluetooth facilities in the first place because otherwise you might frustrate yourself trying to find something that doesn't exist. So I clicked on my Bluetooth settings and now what I want to make sure is that my Bluetooth for my desktop is actually switched on in the first place. So I'm just going to flick this over so that it's on on, right? And now what you can see is that some devices might come up in the bottom. So I've already connected some of the things. So you can see I've got my iPad connected, my Air 2 and some other things as well. Now, if your Cricut Maker doesn't show up there, why am I not being able to scroll here? Hold on one second, sorry. If it doesn't come up in my list, what I want to do is to add a Bluetooth device. So I'm going to click on this Add Bluetooth. Again, yours might look different, the page that you're looking at, but somewhere there should be an option for you to add Bluetooth. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to do Bluetooth? Do you want to do wireless? And do you want to do everything else? We want to do Bluetooth. So click on that. You need to make sure that your maker is switched on for this to work. Now your maker comes up here, but it actually says audio underneath it. It just does that. It always does that. So don't worry about that. That is your machine and that is the one that you need to click on. So click on your maker. So you need to have your cord connected from your machine to your desktop in order for this to work and you need your machine switched on. Now it's going to ask you for a pen in order to be able to connect your machine and no matter what um, machine you're setting up, whether it's a Joy Explorer 2 or whatever it is, you're just going to enter four zeros here. So it's zero, 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 zero. So easy as everybody's got the same pen. So it's nice and simple and you're going to click on connect. Right, and we're going to give it a minute. There we go. And it says your device is now ready to go. So now what this means is that we can actually, and I've got so many things open here. Hold on, let me find my, uh, how come it doesn't have a little icon? That's why I can't find it. So now what we can do is actually to go ahead and to unplug that cord roll up that cord, pop it into your box because it's a good idea to keep it somewhere safe. I like to store mine in my box, but obviously if you've got a different place to store it, go for it because you won't need that cord again, unless for some reason something goes wrong and you need to reinstall your machine, which sometimes happens. So go ahead and unplug it and congratulations because you have officially connected your machine via Bluetooth to your desktop. And that means that we're one step closer to actually getting to designing, which is super, super exciting. So this was page number two from our Complete Guide to Cricut Design Space book that you might already have. Um, and now you know exactly how to go ahead and set up your Bluetooth. So a lot of people love watching the video and then they grab the book and they actually go and follow along with the step-by-step -step instructions. However you wish to do it, this is just a bit of a bonus for those of you that loves to have the video in front of you. All right, that's it for today. See ya.